is Vicki David from the Windows Club. If the spacebar key of your system is stuck and the computer keeps typing spaces continuously, then please read through this article. I will guide you through the resolutions. The first solution is to physically check your keyboard. Is the spacebar key stuck? Is there dirt in the keyboard? Please fix the same before proceeding with any other solutions. The second solution is to run the keyboard troubleshooter on your system. The procedure is as follows. Right-click on the Start button and select Settings from the menu. In the Settings window, go to the System tab on the list on the left-hand side. In the right pane, scroll down to Troubleshoot and click on it. Now select Other Troubleshooters. Scroll down to the Keyboard Troubleshooter and click on Run corresponding to it. The third solution is to update the keyboard drivers. First of all, this is to be done by updating Windows. Right-click on the Start button and select Settings from the menu. In the Settings window, go to the Windows Update tab on the list on the left-hand side. In the right pane, Click on Check for Updates to update Windows. You can also update the keyboard drivers from the manufacturer's website. The fourth solution is to perform an SFC scan on your system. Search for Command Prompt in the Windows search bar and select Run as Administrator in the right pane to open the Elevated Command Prompt window. In the Elevated Command Prompt window, Type the command s-f-c space forward slash scan now and hit enter to invoke the SFC scan. Reboot the system once the scan is completed. The last solution is to troubleshoot in the clean boot state. To do so, press the Windows key and the R button together. This will open the Run window. In the Run window, type the command msconfig and hit Enter to open the System Configuration window. Go to the Services tab. Check the box associated with Hide All Microsoft Services. If any service is checked, select Disable All. Select Apply and then click on OK. You will be prompted to restart your system. Click on the same. This will reboot the system in the clean boot state. Now you will be able to figure any troublesome third-party program through the hit and trial method. Was this helpful? Please let us know in the comments section. Also, feel free to subscribe to the channel.